this video, we're going to look at sending a quote to a customer. Once we have the quote built and are ready to send it to the customer, we can head down to print on the right hand side and open up the quotation document. All of the documents on current RMS are customizable, so you can change the layout to make it look how you'd like, including amending the logo and the colors. Please watch the previous video if you have not already. Once we're happy with the layout, we can send it to the customer in different ways. One way is that you can print it out and hand it to the customer in person. We can also download the quotation as a PDF document and send it through your own external email. Or alternatively, we can send an email through current RMS itself using our discussions area of the system. When using discussions, we can attach the quotation as a PDF document to this email or we can send it to the customer as a clickable link to sign electronically. If you are interested in getting customers to sign documents with an electronic signature, you can set that up within your system. Let's go through these steps now. We first head into System Setup, which is accessed by clicking into your profile on the top right-hand corner. Once in System Setup, we can scroll down to Document Layouts. This is where we can make any edits to documents. I'm just going to search for the document that we want and go ahead and edit this so that we can add the approval link to this document. If we scroll down the options, we will find the slide to turn online approval on, along with the option to require a signature. You can also add messages that pop up when the customer accepts or declines the quote. Once we're happy, we can update this document Head back into this order and open up that quotation document again. Now that this is set up, we will be able to send the link over to our customers. With the electronic signature, the customer will click on the link to view the document online. If I open this up in a private browser, we will be able to see exactly what the customer sees. The customer can look for all of the information on this quotation and then they will have the option to accept, decline, or comment on this. Let's say that the customer is happy with everything and wants to sign the quotation. They can accept it, type their name in here, and also leave a signature. We can see that that brings this signature through onto the document with the name and also date and timestamps it for us. Once this has been accepted, any participants in this opportunity will be notified of the change via email. Let's head back into current to see how this looks on the other side. If we scroll down to approval documents, we can view the documents that we sent to the customer via the approval link. This will also show us really insightful information on how many times the customer has clicked on the link, along with the date and time that they last viewed the document allowing us to track if they are so interested in going ahead with the job or not. We can also see here the date and time that the quotation was accepted and signed. Now that we have confirmation from the customer, assuming that you're happy with everything, we can convert this quotation over into an order 